the Crimson Corner on KSL.com. You know, July is a month the football staff usually gets some time off, but not this year as the team moves into their new state-of-the-art facility. The grand opening of the facility coming up on August 15th, but right now, Mike Grant and Robert Jackson take us on this sneak peek. of the Utah football organization here. This is the new Utah football facility, what we've heard so much about. Jeff, this is a big facility. Tell us a little bit about it. We're gonna take a little walk through. Okay, the uh, square footage on the building is 120,000 square feet. Uh, the, the old building was about 33,000 square feet. And so this building has a lot more than the other building, not just square footage, but in terms of uh, functionality. And right here in this area here, uh, this is an area where we'll use for the student athletes to uh, tape up their cleats and put their cleats on before they go out to the uh, practice field. We have a grass practice field and a uh, turf practice field out back here. And then as you look through the wall here where the guys are working, we've got a uh, multi-purpose kind of yoga room here. And so in this hallway, the student athletes will be able to come out of the locker room, get taped up, put the cleats on, and go directly out to practice or if they're coming to the locker room and they can come travel through this hallway here into the uh, weight room. In each one of these bays as we travel town, there's customized lockers for each individual player. And so these lockers, there's 130 lockers total in here in this space for uh, all the student athletes here. This kind of the main hallway for everything. We have our football access down at the end of the hallway, and then there's meeting spaces, and then as you progress down the hallway, over here on my left, this is the equipment room. There are issue windows there, so where the players will go to every day to get their laundry and what other, you know, various things that we're issuing to them for practice and games and all that good stuff. We have the uh, entrance to the player lounge, and so in this space here, Student athletes will be able to hang out, do some homework, you know, catch a nap, especially like during tour days when they're here, you know, around the clock, be able to, you know, have some downtime here during, you know, in between practices and meetings. And so we've got multiple TVs in here, pool table, foosball, you know, ping pong, all that good stuff, and then a mini theater in here so the players can, you know, hang out, watch, you know, watch the TV watch a movie, and just kind of relax, and kind of get away from football before they get back to their football commitments for the day. The guys that are coming to visit us every day, every weekend or whatever, they're going to USC, they're going to Oregon, they're going to Cal. All three of those guys have opened new facilities, and so this is something that's really going to help us here. Is this kind of on the same, is this equivalent to what they're building, or is this... Is this better? Is this worse? Is this on, on the same line? It's definitely not worse. You know, it's definitely not worse. Um, this facility will put us right there on the top of the Pac-12. You know, if not, in some aspects, it'll put us on top of the country. Um, you know, when we get down to the training room, I'll show you that thing, and you know, that kind of floors some people sometimes. Sure. You know, because so. that's one thing you hear about is, mm -hmm. you know, it's recruiting. It's, mm -hmm. You're always in a recruiting battle. Mm -hmm. Facilities. They mention facilities a lot. This is going to do a lot for you guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> this is our number one recruiting piece. You know, this is you know one, one of the goals of this building um, in the thought process and planning and putting it together was this building is going to need to recruit with no one around. And so I think we've done a good job of accomplishing uh, accomplishing that. Okay, so down here, we've got uh, all the meeting rooms. So we've got 11 individual meeting rooms. So every position group has their uh, own meeting room. So O-line, D-line, linebackers, safeties, I mean, everybody. And then in here, we've got two rooms. These rooms here are our unit rooms. And so when the offense wants to meet all together, O-line, tight end, running backs, QBs, wide receivers, they'll meet in this room. And so this room will accommodate 75 players. And 
you know, projection on the screen, watching the film. And so there's one for the offense and one for the defense. Over here, this is the uh, team auditorium. When it's all complete, we have 165 kind of oversized leather chairs in here, projection, surround sound, HD. I mean, it's going to be top notch when it's, when this it's all done. This is the done. main team meeting room. This is the main team meeting room here. This is the uh, training room, the athletic training room. And so it's separated into a couple different areas. Right here will be the taping area. And then on the other side there, that's the uh, rehab area. And then over here to your left, this will be all glassed in here pretty soon. And so we've got four pools here. We've got a hot plunge, cold plunge, and then two HydroWorks uh, underwater treadmill pools. And so those pools are pretty cool. You know, and we can go down to the basement and take a look at them. You can uh, fully submerse a uh, player that's about seven foot, seven two. Yeah, and so there's TVs on the wall with the cameras that are uh, focused on the uh, athlete's movements underwater on the treadmill. And so you can raise and lower the treadmill to get the different resistance that you need. And you can track their progress and they can watch you know, their running style and it's all recorded and all that stuff. So these are the bottom side of the, uh, of the uh, treadmill pools. And so you can see how big they are. How tall are you? 6'2". And that, like, that's seven foot? Yeah. Fully yeah. really submerged seven feet? Yeah. So Travis Wilson will be able to fit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we want to get them all the way underwater, but you know, we can get it. We can get them worked on. The main, main entry for the doors or for the facility is here. Come in. Got a huge 110-inch TV going up right here, kind of welcome people and just kind of let it play through the day. Then we got a grand scare, uh, stairway that kind of takes you up to the cafeteria, the Hall of Fame, the football offices, and the academic office upstairs. <laughs> See, this is, that's where we were down, down low in the hub. And then this space here, this is the uh, Hall of Fame. And so we've got some uh, pretty cool stuff going on. We've got our 360 uh, display, which is kind of an interactive video board that'll be housed in this area over here on the left. And then, you know, we've got a lot of you know, the trophies and the Sugar Bowl you know, trophy. All that stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Sugar Bowl, Fiesta, you know, trophies to come. You know, we've got we've got room to grow. We've got kind of the media area. And so <clears throat> we have the control room for the green room slash studio. And so we'll be able to produce a lot of content here. And so when you guys come in from KSL to you know do some kind of on-screen on interviews and stuff, we've got a room dedicated for you guys, light structure, green screen. And so kind of make things easier for you guys. And then we've got our press conference room in here. Watch your step as we step over a bunch of stuff entrance to the football offices, to the coaches' offices. So we'll have a receptionist here, kind of a waiting area. We've got Coach Witt's uh, secretary here, and then uh, Coach Winningham's office here. So we have a, his desk area there, and then a recruiting area right behind us. And then patio area out here. There we go. Kind of get the shot of. So we got the stadium in the background, Coach Witt's office, and then downtown Salt Lake and Oak Mountains. Thanks so much, Jeff Rudy, again from Utah Football, taking us on this tour. And then tell me again.
uh, July 4th, right? Yeah, July 4th. Is that's the drop dead? That's when it's got to be done, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have it done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Jeff, thank you so much for yeah, taking no, us on absolutely. this little tour. And then, of course, there's Pac-12 Media Day. That's coming up in L.A. on July 26th, and shortly thereafter, fall camp starts. The Utes' first game coming up 53 days from Sunday, and, of course, that's against the Aggies of Utah State. Now, Utah can't wait to get a shot at revenge, and one of the ways they'll try to do that will be utilizing one of the Utes' biggest strengths this year on offense, the tight ends. Robert Jackson has more on that story. The tight ends have usually been nothing more than glorified blockers for the Ute football team. Now, over the middle, complete for a touchdown. Not this year. Jake Murphy secured that ball. Jake Murphy and Wesley Tonga will both be asked to play big roles in the offense this fall. Our strength right now is we've got two tight ends that I think are as good as anybody in our league. Jake Murphy was one of the few bright spots for the Utes in 2012 with 33 catches and four touchdowns. It's no secret that Murphy will be one of the Utes top playmakers in 2013. While his numbers might not have been as impressive as his co-starter, Wesley Tonga's pass catching ability cannot be underestimated. Just ask BYU linebacker Kyle Van Oy. Play action pass. Hayes looking toward the end zone. Throws it up and it's caught. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Wesley Tonga that? on the touchdown. A one-handed grab by Tonga. It's a block from Wilson.